वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू आर लेसन थ्री टुडे विल लर्न प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस आई होप यू हैव प्रैक्टिस एंड लर्न ऑल द प्रीवियस टू लेसन्स द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स डिफरेंट फीचर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स द यूजेस द स्कोप ऑफ द यूजेस द एरिया ऑल द डिफरेंट थिंग्स for the accurate right learning now come to see the present continuous tense and as usual after this we'll learn we'll see the syntax the structure the pattern of the sentence the subject plus am or is or are plus present participle of the verb you know what a present participle is i have written here the present participle is actually the ing form of a verb example the go is a verb its present participle is going ride is a verb its present participle is riding and sing is a verb its present participle is singing etc so the syntax is the subject plus am or is or are plus present participle of the verb now our scope of use the definition and as usual you all know unless you know the scope of use of this sentence we can't use the syntax we can use the syntax to express our thought into correct language correct words so learn that it is used number 1 for an action which is going on see the examples they are dancing she is singing and we are playing they are running from these four sentences it is clear that the action the works are going on the works are continuing for this it is called a continuous tense and number 2 a present continuous tense is used for an impending future action impending future action impending means what is coming F- impending future the coming future action take an example to clear the idea we are going to delhi tomorrow tomorrow is the impending future today it is coming the very next day is coming and it is fixed that we will go to delhi tomorrow so for this it is called present indefinite tense is used for an impending future action we are going to delhi tomorrow it is fixed that we will go to delhi tomorrow so these are the areas where you can use the syntax of present continuous tense very simple but very useful but one thing you must remember however a few english verbs are there which are not used in present continuous tense they are the verbs of emotions verbs of perception ideas thinking as for example the present continuous tense is not used in the verb believe in desire here hate hope like love no see smell taste recognize understand want wish wonder contain consist matter pauses resemble etc 
this is very important this is a very important point we must remember this if you say i'm believing it sounds odd if you say i am knowing it sounds odd so now come to learn how to make interrogative sentences in this aspect of present continuous tense take the example to clarify your idea i am playing it's a sentence affirmative sentence and am i playing am i not playing these are two integrative forms of the same sentence i am playing take another example here we are playing are we playing are we not playing integrative sentences integrative forms of the same sentence we are playing take another sentence she is singing and its integrative forms is she singing is she not singing these are integrative forms of the same sentence she is singing and now see how w is questions are formed in this sentence in this tense how w is questions are formed with this syntax where are you going what is he doing why is he shouting etc so here we have not taken the help of any other outside helping verb to attach not to transfer an affirmative sentence into a negative sentence because the sentence basic sentence itself has its own helping verb and they are am is are these are the helping verbs as the these helping verbs are there in the sentence no not can be easily attached to them there in the present indefinite tense no such verb is there in the sentence for this to attach not in the sentence in a negative sentence one outside helping verb is necessary but here the sentence of the present continuous tense has its own helping verb like am is are but the no outside helping verb is necessary i think your idea is clear about the present continuous tense and its use its scope of use area of use and how to form ws questions with this syntax and how to form the yes or no questions with this syntax and how to form negative sentences with this syntax learn well to learn the next lesson well thank you very much see you again